I am James Shackelford and I work for Gary Job Corps in San Marcos, but I also represent National Job Corps. Job Corps is represented in all of our states and we work specifically with young adults 16 to 24. Job Corps is a great benefit to foster families because foster families all deal with the situation of kids aging out of the program. And many foster families, uh, all foster kids in Texas, have the opportunity to go to school for free, tuition, etc. But a lot of kids are just not ready to function on their own, not ready to do the day-to-day -day living. And Job Corps is a residential site where the kids can come, where there's a structured environment, where they learn not only basic vocational trades, but just how to function on a day-to-day -day basis, make up your bed get to class, get to your vocational training, and be able to just live on their own with some structured environment around them. So it's very beneficial. So uh, foster kids can go straight on to school, but taking them out of a foster home straight into a college campus, for some that just does not fit. So Job Corps offers an opportunity for other kids that are wanting to make a slower transition, but be on their own. For foster students that are coming to us, we have all types of contacts. I am an outreach and admissions, and we have outreach and admissions counselors in every state and in every county. So what students would do coming to Job Corps is they would call the 1-800 number. Uh, that's readily available online, or they can uh, Google Job Corps. But we have advertisement around the country, every state, every county. So they would call an outreach admissions counselor like me. I would come meet with them. We would do the enrollment process. And once they're enrolled, we have all their documents, birth certificate, driver's license, social security, verifiable identification. We would process their application. They would be accepted to a job corps. Uh, in our case, let's say at San Marcos, they would come to San Marcos. Uh, if they needed transportation, we would get them there, and then they would come and begin their residential program with us that can last up to two years. In each state, uh, Texas is a large state, so we have three job corps in this state. Every state has at least one. So once students are enrolled, they finish their enrollment process, they will go to the Job Corps site. And so when they arrive there, we take students in every Tuesday. We're an open enrollment, open uh, out the door where we have kids graduating every month. So as kids process into Job Corps, they come live on center. Uh, the first four weeks they're on center, they do career preparation planning where they sat down and make three months, six months, one year, and five year goals. They work with a counselor, start thinking about what they want to do, pick out a vocational trade, which could be any, anything from medical to carpentry to electric. And then we do tape testing to assess where they are in the educational field. They could have a graduate, they could have already graduated from high school. So after they've done their initial uh, planning and preparation, they move in a dorm, it's just like a college dorm. Uh, the dorm's provided for free. Uh, that we have a cafeteria where they eat their meals and then their day is structured if they're finishing high school or need extra credits they go to high school for part of the day and the rest of the day they're in their vocational training. Right now in Texas at our one center is not taking residents right now but in our other two in San Marcos we can take 1600 students so at any time we usually enroll between 100 to 150 students a month and El Paso is our other center and they're a little bit smaller than us but on a given basis uh, several hundred students a month so there is plenty of availability for students either foster care students or any uh, high school you know 16 to 24 year olds in the residential they we, we have dorms, like I said, our, in San Marcos we can take up to 1,600 students and actually we're geared towards 1,900 and eventually we're going to move back towards that. So we have enough dorm space for that many students, we have enough educational space, cafeteria space. Actually in San Marcos it's one of the biggest centers, we have over 800 acres. So we have a huge campus. Job Corps is run by the Department of Labor. 
and each Job Corps Center has a different contractor that runs that facility for the Department of Labor. So any, any student 16 to 24 can come to Job Corps, which includes their living on center, all of their meals, all their educational, all their vocational is absolutely free. So there's absolutely no cost to the students whatsoever. So let's say they're in medical field. That includes getting their scrubs or whatever they need. Uh, if they're in welding, boots and gloves. So there's a clothing allowance, there's a uniform allowance. Plus all of our students when they get on center are considered interns for the Department of Labor and they're paid $25 every two weeks, which sounds like, oh, $25, what are we gonna do with that? Well, they live on center, their room, their clothes, their food, everything's covered. So all they need is a, a little money for personal items or we take them into town, they go on field trips, uh, go to McDonald's or whatever. So, and then while they're there in the program, they earn money for the completion. So let's say they finish high school and they finish a vocational trade, they'll earn transitional money. Uh, it could be up to $750. So when they leave, they get 18 months of follow-up services from the Department of Labor to make sure that if they've been trained as a security, medical uh, assistant, nurse, CNA, that they get placed in a job, that they're followed up, and that they have some transition money to make sure that that transition is successful. If you want any information about Job Corps, you just have to just www.jobcorps.org. So, and that's all you need.